Mami? Yes, Joe. Let me tell you something. After the incident with the students the other day, Bamba and I have come to a conclusion that we divert to certain snails. Congo meat. Can you imagine that yesterday I wanted to buy Congo meat and that little girl gave me four small pieces <laughs> for 100 francs. But some people can just go into the forest and pick. Uh, Joe, yes, Bob boy. It seems as if these days almost everyone eats snails. That's true. Maybe I could also cook some of the snails and sell as well. Being able to go to the forest and pick something freely from nature and sell. To me, it sounds like good business, so. Mm. Sounds like good business. Mm. I think Angel Mambi should join us in the forest this evening to pick some snails. Right. What do you think? You're right. But that's not too hard, man. No. Good afternoon. Ah, ah. Yanga, my son. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah. Grandfrey. Yes. What a smile on your face. Well, I got a call from Bida. Uh -huh. So he informed me about this job opportunity. And he promised coming over to the house. So I came to put my documents together. Hmm. Nyanga, my son. Yes, mommy. I pray you have this job. And I wish you good luck. Thank you. Joe and yes, Bomb Boy. I equally wish people good luck with your snails business. Oh, thank you very much. Ah. All right. Bomb Boy, yeah. let's go out there. One thing I'll be born to be not every day. Fortnite. Job, 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 job. Joe. This is too yes. dark here. I can't see anything. Let's go further. Let's go further. We need to look for, for the best place that we can see those snakes. We have been searching for two hours now. I will not be able to feed this pocket. But must stop complaining behind me. <coughs> <coughs> Brenda, yeah. did you take away paper from this table today? I didn't see any paper on the table. I can't see, I can't see anything. See, Njema, if you want to go home, go home. Joe, let's go home now. Most cities are biting me already. Let's go back to the house. No, let's go for that. We'll, we'll still pick more, we'll pick more. Let's go for that. You have not picked anything, but you're saying we'll pick more. You want to do magic? Am I not searching? Okay, let's go that way. No, let's go to the house. I'm tired. Bomb boy, hurry up. Wait. That paper is the document for the job interview in Bida told me about. No, no, I don't Papa? Yes? Did you take away any paper from this table this afternoon? No. I saw papers on top of the table this afternoon, but I did not touch them. How did you get that? That sounded like it. They went to the forest to fix my leg. You see, you have a paper. Now someone can look at the leg now. Where? What are you doing in the forest at night? Not Joe. No, Joe, it's not that I was going to look for snakes where to sell. The snake that bit her is not poisonous. Oh, thank God. But only the pains will persist for a while. Don't worry. No, die. Okay, I'm glad to hear that anyway. Before you came in, I was doing for my application form. The paper I kept on this table just this afternoon. Application form? Yes, for the job interview. Um, I saw some papers on top of this table, but I thought they were useless, so I used it to block the hole of my snow ah, pocket. Bon you what? I... Seriously, bon boy. have you ever thought of getting yourself some education so you can stop embarrassing yourself and do something useful in your life? Ah, brother, child. You shut up, my friend. Don't insult me. Don't insult me. Ah. Listen, I realize that Illiteracy has caused and continues to cause a lot of problems. Yes, yes. Come in. Oh, good evening, to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Listen, thank God you are here. You will not believe what happened today. The application form you gave me was used to cover a hole in the bucket for picking of snails. But my crazy cousin here. No, calm down. Don't bother yourself. <coughs> You'll be provided with another application form at the venue of interview. Uh -huh. really? just, I just wanted you to familiarize yourself with the form so that you can get up, better get prepared. So you don't need to be bothered. Besides, what happened to his leg? Why don't you ask Joe the morning lord? Maybe you stop one time. Grab me that as well. Searching the forest for snails, that's when a snake did bite be his leg. So we've been searching for searching almost three snail. hours and we could, only, we could never even fill a small bucket. And they are blaming for everything. Okay. Yes, it's, it's well, you, you know, you know, a lot of people eat snails uh, nowadays, collected from from the forest, and because of the intense activity, 
the slave population is reducing an alarming rate, which is why you can't take enough. Besides, what happened to this lake is one of the dangers of going into the forest yes, to see snails at night. Snail selling is very lucrative. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But you can see grow snails at home. Ah. With innovation nowadays, it is possible to domesticate snails. Domesticate snails? Exactly. Like keeping them at home so that they can become a permanent protein source? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Actually, I got a friend who does snails domestication. Okay. I can take all of you there and you learn more from him. Then grab me, then you take us to him tomorrow now. So people stop bringing me this out that ill luck. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's okay by me. It's okay by me. Uh, it's fine by me. I'll take you there tomorrow. But uh, meanwhile, for the meantime, uh, Nyanga, please, uh, just let me know after the interview. Let me know how it goes. I wish you the best. Okay, thank you very much, my brother. <laughs> okay, uh, Joe and Brenda, here we are in the farms. My friend isn't here, but the mother too is very knowledgeable about snake domestication. Mm. Okay, Mama Zama. You ask me something. I'll just ask myself. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, Ma. Welcome. We have here. We have the indoor snake family. Wow. Okay. Mm. But mommy, how do you feed them? Because they look so healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very big. We feed them twice in a week. That is every market day. Like soon there will be somebody coming from the market with their feed. Okay. We we'll wow. go to the market. We we'll go to these women who sell popo. Mm -hmm. we'll get the very ripe popo that the customers cannot buy again. We we'll get those also pay some small money. Go to women who sell watermelon. We get those the watermelon that is almost spoiled. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we pay small money. We collect that. Okay. You cut even bananas. You put there. You put even green bananas. They eat, they eat a lot. As you see them like that, you think that they don't. Eat, they eat so much. If you cut even green banana, you just throw there. They will eat it all. They will not even allow you to get right before they eat. Eat cassava, planty, cocoa yams, whatever. Ah, what about mm -hmm. the, the food we prepared in the house? Can we give them? Give, give them? No, you cannot give them food you prepare in the house because there's salt inside. Okay. Yeah, you, you feed them with salt, you kill them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you put them water to drink. You water to drink? There, yeah. Mm -hmm. When they come and they'll give them food, they'll put water inside them. Wow. What about in a box? Mm -hmm. Can we preserve them in a box? Yes, yes. Um, you there. You can use a um, you can use a small box. Just fill it with soil. We put soil to some level, about one and one inch high. Yeah. Yes, you put seeds because when you want to put uh, start rain snakes, you don't use these big ones like this. Okay. Use very small snakes. You have to be shading the place. That is, you'll be using plant, dry plantain leaves mm. to shade the place. Mm. That is where you put the snails, you put a shade, you put a, the dry plantain leaves over. That they should have some shade on that because they, naturally they, they like to lay their egg or to hash on that shaded areas. Okay, oh, so mm. it's very easy to, um, to raise okay. them. It's not very difficult, but we have challenges uh, like uh, I will have problem like ants because when you put them like this, ants Come ants away. kill them so much. If you look at this floor, That's it's not ant. just mud from down. Yeah. Formerly mm -hmm. it was just mud from down, uh, but since ants were killing the snake so much, we had to cement the floor before we put back mud on it. Mm. So under like this, the place is cemented. Okay. to prevent the ants. And since we cemented it, we have really uh, got some success because the ants is not really killing the snails now much okay. again. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so mommy, mommy, what's the lifespan of your uh, snail? The snail, so that we can know how much time we can keep them there. Actually, when you put snails, like that is from two months, uh, within six, seven months, you start harvesting the snails. Yeah. And after, um, one year, it's better to 
do, uh, to to harvest all because we overkeep them again they'll be dying. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you you can sell them. We harvest them almost every day and sell. These big ones we we'll harvest them and sell. Uh -huh. When we have like customers come and they say they want a kilogram of snails, they want two kilogram of snails, so we'll come inside we we'll select the big ones to we'll harvest. Mm -hmm. we we'll wash because most of the customers around the prefer washed snails who so we'll wash the snails, we'll weigh them in kilos and they buy. Any more questions you can pass around any other time. Okay. Yeah, as long as your yeah, son is our friend. Yes. And then, yes. Yeah. Uh, we thank you, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Benda, you look for that money. You will have to give the money if for this. If you call my name, I'll give you a punch. I'm not happy to get this. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Amino. Ah, Bida, welcome. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes, Brenda. Keep her back. Mm, Joe Black, good afternoon. Hi. So, tell me, how was it at the snail farm? Mm. I mean, we just discovered that domesticating snails is very easy. Okay. So we want to start with it. Okay. Mami, mm -hmm. yes, we just need to build some boxes beside the house. Mm -hmm. And confine the snails and feed them with food remains. Okay. It is easy and there's not so much work in it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, actually, it's a good way of uh, preserving the various snail species, and to my opinion, it's a good method of sustainable exploitation mm -hmm. of natural mm -hmm. resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very easy. No more fish now. Good afternoon. Ah, yeah. Nyanga, my son. Yeah. Yes, mommy. Nyanga, how's it? I'm fine, man. So tell us, how did it go? Well, I'm done with the interview, and I got the job. Nyanga, <laughs> my son. No more poverty. Yes, oh, I saw that on my own heart. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh. This really called for celebration. Yes. Yes. That's my sister. Girlfriend. Yeah. 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 You do something. Oh, let me check. Yeah. yeah. So much. I'll talk to you later, boy. Yeah. So, yeah. how do you go at the snail farm? First, I'm happy about it. Yeah, return man. I'm actually happy. Well, my brother, thank you. You know, many years of being in the house without yeah, any job. Yeah, I suppose so. Actually, the, the adventure in the snails farm was good. And okay. I'm happy they accepted the initiative. Okay, okay. I'm it's happy too. Good, I'm yeah. happy too. You know, that guy could be naughty at times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>